Hello everybody, I'm Kachu Player and welcome back to Splinter Cell. Yes, it's time to continue on this amazing game of the Splinter Cell. And uh, looks like we are on the last mission of the Splinter Cell. Uh, uh, like I said in the other episode, this will be not the last video because I don't know how if this last mission will be quite long. If it do long, well, I have to, you know, Stop it in the middle, and then go for it. Because like, because here's the thing though. Uh, I don't like to make a super long video, like an hour video. And yeah, sure, there are a few videos that I made, which is yes, they were more than an hour. But I had no other choice to do. But but on this particular uh, case, what happened uh, on these videos? I have no other choice unless to, to continue and finish off this part bec uh, because otherwise I don't like it. It is a thing though, even though I don't like to make uh, super long videos, but the most thing that I really hate is cut the context, you know, cut the story. I don't like it if, because if I share with you the story of the game, not only the on, of this game, yeah, plenty of other games, I want to. to not only for me, but also for you guys to fully understand the story and you know and have your thoughts, your opinions about the the game story, everything, and of course, and why it be is such such sex. But anyway, uh, and it, it looks like it is less in this new in the last mission. We're gonna get Nicholas once and for all, the man who was responsible for the terrorist attacks and of course the uh, the information warfare. And, and of course, you stay tuned in, in the very end of this uh, when I finish this game because I'm gonna give my full uh, thoughts about what I like, what I what I need to improve, and of course, since this game is coming to the remake, because. I'm not online. If 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 a dare, oh, is this game going to do a remake? Yes, they are. Go to Ubisoft Toronto. Uh, go for it. Uh, so you, the 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 Ubisoft Toronto is really uh, on the process of making the first game, this game, uh, or the Splinter Cell a remake. Which is, to be honest, is gone. Then finally, if for me, if I want to, if, because for me, if I want to make a, a remake of this game, you should make it. The, at least the, the original trilogy of the game, like uh, the the first game, the second game, which is is the name Pandora Tomorrow, and the third game, the Chaos Theory. If you can, well, if you can make a remake of Double Angel, I'd be glad also too because because that's because if I find uh, I I know the Double Angel was now very. A good game and not very successful. It, it, it is a very interesting uh, feature and they count on the franchise, but the story is not very, I could say, consistent. But I don't know. I never pl played the, the the Splinter Cell Double Engine because my first Splinter Cell that I started to play it was the Splinter Cell Conviction, and then later the Blacklist. And I love this, this, this both games, but unfortunately, I had literally no idea what the heck is going on with the franchise. You know, I don't I had no idea how the the story begins, and uh, because because I literally picked the one of the last games of the franchise, and of course, uh, and the further in my channel when I start to play all the games of the Splinter Cell, I don't know, I couldn't make a theory. Or even put I don't know uh, my thoughts as a fan, uh, what could say a fan story because a fan fix story on my on my thoughts about the next future games of the Splinter Cell. But of oh, damn it! But of course the remake also is be great, you know. Not only bring back the, uh, old old uh, old players who play the franchise, and of course new players alike. And of course, yeah, sure. The Splinter Cell uh, is a is a great game. Uh, I I and, I, and like I said, and of course, and I like I, like I said before, 
when I finish this game, I'm gonna my thoughts. I'm gonna say why I rather play uh, Splinter Cell than the Metal Gear Solid. But anyway, I I'm really sorry if I talk too much. And like I said before, when I start uh, and this uh, is thinking about who I am. When I start to talking, I literally don't stop talking. But yeah, sure. So when you stop talking, you feel you're awfully quiet on this game because if I play the game. I kind of really auto focus mode because when I really focus, I literally stop playing and focus to beat the game. So anyway, let's further ado. Let's continue on the last mission on Splinter Cell, the Presidential Palace. Georgia Presidential Palace, the busy Georgia, November 13, 2004. So, what? So looks like now on, yeah, I'm going back once again to Georgia, where it always starts. But this song is the, is the presidential palace. Find Cone Bay Nicholas and the Ark. Cone Bay Nicholas has returned to the Georgian presidential palace in order to retrieve a weapon normally known as the Ark. The greater risk involved in Nicholas' personal return to the police suggests its enormous value. Any threat posed by Nicholas or the Ark must be dealt with. So, looks like it will be. So, looks like uh, this will be. Uh, a assassination mission to kill Nicolas, huh? Welcome back to Georgia, Fisher. Our cleanest path to the Ark is President Kristavi's records. Details on your offset. What if Kristavi gets in my way? Don't touch him. He's copacetic with the CIA. If Kristavi dies, the mission's over. So, this is Kristavi. So, this Kristavi is connected with the CIA, huh? Uh, recovered the Ark interrogation file, the records of the interrogation conducted by Georgian agents represent the current Georgia President Kristavi. The file details an uh, interrogation for one of Nicholas' high ranking mercenaries, first revealing the identity of the Ark. Nicholas Sosexo presented Varla Kristavi, a second resident in the palace. The death of the priest Kristavi will result in mission failure. So, obviously, gonna, so is it going to appear in the game? Maybe? Kristavi, so this is Kristavi. Hmm. Uh, Kristavi, okay. This is a personal fi case file of Kristavi. The security branch of Georgia, Chief of State. Kristavi secures a position of the Mr. or Nicholas cabinet. He represents the tradition of Marnevelis? Marnevelis? President. Kristavi serves information regarding the Nicholas oil policies to the CIA Tana Hill. Information drops continue irregularly at the frequency of two ten weeks. After the two days of near anarchy in the Georgian government, Kristavi assumes power, promising to hold an election within a month. A seven former ministry for Nicholas cabinet opposed Kristavi rules vanish. Maybe the CIA power is too pejorative so let's call him the CIA's puppet we can assume the CIA had uh, a, a heavy hand in the disappearance of the D7 ministry with the 12 hmm so after uh, so what I see after what happened to the CIA in the after what happened we kept the mole inside the CIA the 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 order of the CIA agency now kind of restore, and it looks like the the those ministers who oppose against Kristavi was kind of well disappear on the map, and probably that uh, probably that in the dish. Huh? At put yeah, of course put a comment down below. Uh, what is the really should. Do. <coughs> My goodness, it's so freaking scary the old games do do this.
Oh, come on. Yeah, but no. <laughs> oh. My god, in the old game. My goodness, this is a scary part of what the old game is. Oh, yeah, before that, let me. Only three sticky cameras? Damn. Well, a le One sticky shocker? Damn, it really scares about this, this this stuff. Yeah, this is thing about the remake too, man. It, make this, you know, this get this a little more usable, you know. why don't you clean up after your dog? Who is that? Get that damn spotlight out of my eyes, you filthy sniper! Eftendil, Bendry, keep the chit chat off the airwaves! Yes, sir! Sorry, sir. <coughs> Whoa! Dogs! Ay, 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 God damn spotlights. Abtandil, why don't you clean up after your dog? Who is that? Get that damn spotlight out of my eyes, you filthy sniper! Abtandil, Bendry, keep the chit chat off the airwaves. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Picked up a trail. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come here, man. Damn, if I don't need to take it out, the dog has to keep a weight over the spawn lights. It looks over like there's way in front of the spawn lights. Oh, come on, really? I think I heard something. Yes! My goodness, if I can whist. My goodness, if I can whist whistle or you know, draw attention with the freaking gun that goes at the freaking dog, it'll be. Will be way, will be way easier. Another freaking spotlight will be over there, and I cannot shoot spotlight, huh? No, I think I cannot. But at least I can take out the freaking sniper. There we go. He's picked up a scent. Damn it! Come. Oh my god, cool. Where did he go? Man down. No. N no, it's nothing, you bastard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's better me than you. Look, I s look like I said before. I I love dogs, but technically speaking, I ride a cat. I I'm a cat person. I love cats, but I don't not like a, I don't like the dogs. Dog is good too, but under situation, which tell me what are you going to do in this situation, huh? Wow, the three datas. It's gonna be really interesting. Let's just make sure I'm gonna put the body here. Mm. 
Well, I picked three data at this. Only one. Hmm. Uh, Jari Kasharva Garden Gate. Uh, actually, the Garden Gate door code is 2126. Commit this number to memory and they destroy the message. This is possible. Kristavi has something out. The originating happened tonight and security must be at its highest. Okay. So, what did I pick? Hmm. Damn it. But this accuracy, my goodness. Go, 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 run. Man, this is an improvement you need to in the remake, huh? The resource is really scarce. Yeah, I always waited for the gun to go over there. Now I'm gonna shoot a few of the lights. Really dumb to knock to. Oh, wait, who opened the freaking gates? No! Oof, almost. Yeah, I, think, I don't think I want this part to do the... Yeah, I don't think there's more, any more guys. I, but I don't know, I'm gonna check it out if there's more guys to deal with it. Or... Oh my god, the spoiler almost got me. Or it has, I don't know, a important resources that I... That I mi just miss, you know? I'm a type of... I'm a type of guy who explore everything to you pick... If you're not picking any kind of uh, resources... Oh, come on, really? There's a freaking guy over there in the freaking tower. I can at least, I don't know, turn off the lights of the freaking uh, um, spotlights and of course see if there's any resources like ammo or if it can, I don't know, sticky cameras, sticky shockers, ring phone around. I'm not gonna waste a freaking bullet to see if he can shoot the freaking lock. Yeah, I, yeah, but I'm not gonna waste a freaking bullet to, to destroy a freaking lock. If what I can see is already over the all the freaking tracks of the guns here. So obviously we really don't go to the front, the, the front freaking door. Well, there we go. If it no, just keep it the lines off. It's possible lock. This could be neat. This could be used for the pending situation. Another bad kid. Mm, good. Lasers. Damn it. Oh, but they turn off. Okay, I need to. Who? Uh oh. I 
come on, come on, come on. Oof, the light meteor helps a lot to to you to see if you are covering up in the darkness or not. Oh my goodness, almost. Uh, you? There we go. There we go. Hmm. There's one more guard. Now, since it seems pretty dark, let's see if it's uh, on, on the side of that door over there. Me and maybe I can dispose the bodies over there. You know. Hmm. There's uh, only lights. Oh, what is this? Another disposable lock. Well, I don't want to shoot. And like I said, I don't want to waste the ammo, but now it's complete dark and it's a perfect place to hide the body. So, come here. I don't. I don't want to risk it to someone wandering around and find the body. Which I find absurd, like uh, in the other episode, like, oh, I literally, you know, uh, make sure anything was, uh, yeah, sure, there one part there was a large source over there, but come on, there's literally no one over there. And then later, just, oh, I found a body, uh, increase the level, increase, uh, increase the level alert, so like, god damn it. And how to save the freaking body is it? Well, I'm gonna do this. Well, to make sure this is. I think we already destroyed the freaking lines, so I really doubt that they're gonna find the freaking body here. Ah, I knew there's a guy over there. Well, I'm gonna drag the guy over right on the other side, so... And yeah, sure. And yeah, sure. For your focus, it looks like what I'm doing is a kind of waste of time. Everything, but I rather to do this, you know, to... Oh, there's a, a... Is an enemy? Or something? Eliminate the threats of all... Eliminate... And immediately and once the trend because otherwise if it because otherwise if your guys appears or is a if it, there is a guy you're gonna appear you see the other ones you're gonna immediately call the back or anything so is so I, I so I rather to do this eliminate the threat once and for all Oh, it's only light switch over there. Okay, fine. Oh. Oh, sneaky. There is an alarm system on the stairs. So... Luckily, I saw the one thing over there in the wall. But the thermal goggles I can see very well. I need to do a parkour thing on the move. Oh, it is a oh, more over there, huh? Ah, come on, sand. Oh, what the heck? No. No, I don't want to do this. This is what I wanted to do. 
Oh, come on, you cannot climb with the freaking thing. Ah, oh, come on, man, you can easily climb with this. Uh, okay, why now? Oh, come on. But it's still, come on, I can easily climb with this fence. Oh yeah, baby. So far, so good. No freaking statue, no freaking alarm, everything. Case never knows, right? Oh, nothing. Uh, damn it. Those aren't palace guards. Some kind of special forces. Special forces. Elite, probably Christavi's men, which would suggest Nikolaj's is local. Does that affect my game? No. Find those interrogation files. And Christavi's men aren't going to be much friendlier than Nikolaj's. You're authorized for lethal force. Thank you, Lambert. Yeah, sure, it's a huge risk, but... Oh, crap. Yeah, sure, it's a huge risk that I did, and of course I wasted many ammo. But look at how dark it becomes, so it becomes way better. Yeah, that's right. Keep it looking. And then why there's a line broken and everything. Now come here. Oh, just make sure. Come here. Uh, there's another problem. I have to open the door, pick the body, and now alongside with it. Done. Damn it, I don't think if I shoot the freaking things, it will be better. Yeah, it was nothing. Just, just stop to be, be suspicious. Don't go. Don't. Oh my God! No. I help too. They had a different interrogator, a different team for each subject. Yes. About something called the Ark. I couldn't make sense of it, except himself. Jesus, I would never want to see those things again. The things we did for that information. Hmm. So these are some kind of another weapon based on information warfare? Was a risky, but it was a risk because I was going into the lines, but it's still. What? Why? Why do you make suspicious? Uh, Jonathan Sutton, Gibero Uh Mr. Ob 
or bitchy skill. Please let the present Christophe know that he will need to be a little more forthcoming in his relationship with the ancient Tana Hill. We expect Christophe knows how instrumental the agency was in his election and I hope he understands the wisdom of remembering his friends. So, Christophe is on our side? Or not? Maybe it was a shadow. Yes, it's only a shadow. Damn it! Damn. Damn it, accuracy. Damn it. Maybe it was nothing. I got the Fuck. <gasps> Damn it. Damn it, you goddamn piece of shit. Francisco Kojova, rest. Once we can get the code, we're gonna need to move fast if we want to get the jump on Nicolas' man. I count on you to cover my back while this thing goes down. You can take the shortcut through the corridor. The door leading is locked by the code 70021. I pump. Tonight's going to be good fight. Huh. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know because I hear. Damn it. Well, at least. At least it's manageable. Just to make sure. Yeah, in the yeah in the case of going to the door, now it's a little dark. Zero zero two. Oh, damn it! Uh, was damn it! I could even light switch. What? You piece of shit, why had to turn and there was something there? Oh no 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 buddy, it's just all your own freaking imagination. And then one way they go this guy going back. Yes, I'm gonna drop a. Oh, I thought. Oh, it's a flower. A, a flower pond. I thought it was a guy. But in the moment, oof. Oh yes, yeah, a monument kids over there. It's a perfect place because these doors are all barricaded. Kenti Bratizzi, Lado, Nico, Nicolas returns, Lado, we're keeping this quiet, so be careful for this information, yes? Christophe has arranged to allow Nicolas into the presidential palace. It will happen tonight shortly after midnight. Nicolas is giving Christophe a sizable sum of money, along with some near priceless oil drilling data for the Caspian. In the exchange for Christophe, let Nicolas receive the art from the, from the palace on Molested? Nicolas claimed the art that act is a dirty bond. 
but Christopher has learned different. I bet it won't let Nicholas walk out and hear the pass when they arc in hand. Hard to say, my advice keep your hand low around midnight tonight. Kitty. So, Christophe is an on our side? Perhaps, I don't know. My goodness, man, my. Audio and possible hostilities. Oh, crap. Oh my god, close! You goddamn. Man down! He looked unconscious! No, 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 don't! Maybe it was part of this Nicolas business. No, 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 don't you dare to walk in your friend! See, that's why I'd rather to kill enemies than just knocking up. Just knocking up because otherwise, they, they, if they can't just see us, we will we waking up. Oh my goodness, I need ammo ASAP. Not only ammo, man, I need more resources. Who goes there? Damn it. No one, I swear. Oof. Well, I think it is off the guard, so... Now I can literally move away freely without being compromised. Is that camera? Mm, no. No. This is the camera, so... If it is a camera over this... If there is a camera... It the has to be really important here. Ah, uh, of course. Goodness, almost. He's going to do after that. Sir, is that you? Nicolas and his men are almost at the library. We are continuing to hold back until he's actually inside, sir. President Christavi? He's not here, buddy. No, 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 don't you drown. I say no lies, buddy. Chris Nafi is not here, even this guy is looking for. Yeah. Oh my goodness, well, I didn't make a lot of progress, so. Even the next checkpoint, if it case. I hate this kind of thing. What? what? Interrogation, torture, and. Oh, Christ! What? The Ark is a SATA. A what? A special atomic demolition munition. You mean a nuclear suitcase bomb? Yeah. I'll get back to you. Uh oh, there could be so Ark has an, a mini nuclear bomb. They could be problematic. Uh, Tana, J David Tanahill from Christophe. Mister Tanahill, he's the, the fifth intelligence report from the president of Christophe's office. 
or hope they update the decryption protocols, live up to your standards, and the intelligence itself meets your expectations. So no, Nikolai will be in Georgia soil possibly within the history no, between November to, uh, 17 and 18. Nicholas is funded in his escape with a heroin money and through the certain corrupt presentence of the terrorist police force, especially those 4 and 12. Ah, in the Guadalajara infiltrated police, huh? No intelligence available on this arc. You speak of the Christopher Fields, and I agree. That arc is a rumor. Please know that we appreciate our relationship with the agency. We are eager to help in any way as possible. Uh -huh. What? CC7C. The arc is the mission, Fisher. Get it. It's in a safe inside a vault in the library. Locked by scanner to Nikolaids' retina. So I'm going to need Nikolaids alive to get the Ark. That's right. For now. Ah, uh, so... Oh, come on. It's gonna be a little... E oh, come on, so... The door will give me at least a part to, you know, to give here. Oh, at least give me a uh, uh, the resource of the free, of the uh, almost of the medical pack, but it's still I think the the medical pack I think it's no longer usable in the modern era, you know. Oh, come on. We'll find you. Come out with your hands up. We'll find you. Oh, the hell? oh come on, man. This is really unfair. Down, you motherfucker! Ah, uh, no! You make me lose health. I don't like it. Mm, damn it! Yeah, I gonna. Well, well, I'm literally on this uh, the blind spot with the camera, and there's dark here, so drop here. Piece of shit, it will make you waste it. Waste this. I don't know if you later you're gonna need it. Oh, I almost got for the camera. Damn it. It's better. Yeah, I don't know if the keys or enemy will appear on the door. Oh, oh! You know what? I'm gonna leave this episode. Yes, uh, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna leave this episode because my goodness, I do it so much. So I think I forgot the time of the recording, and I we're recording, of course, and it takes are gonna be a, a quite a long game. So I'm gonna end this episode. I guess we we'll reveal what the arc is, huh? I said a suitcase nuclear bomb, huh? <laughs> What are the odds huh? to so make it a miniature nuclear bomb which yes it's dangerous but why are you gonna go to use this to attack I don't know well per well technically speaking but it's still how but it's still if you're gonna oh I'm gonna drop this suitcase as a nuclear device suitcase to I don't know uh a New York you know a, a very public place like New York or oh, I don't know Washington. Okay, fine, cool, cool plan. But how could I uh, bring this gun then uh, bomb to to this place on a plane, which they have X-ray machine you can literally see. 
Oh, unless you, if you, oh, unless you, you dispatch, ish. Yeah, is it the key if you dispatch? But it's still, it's kind of risky. You may, because imagine you carry a suitcase, a nuclear suitcase, and dispatch on the airplane. The airplane could, I don't know. I don't know. The guys are gonna, the the shaking, and of course, how if the guys were gonna throw the freaking thing, you're gonna, you're gonna compromise the the suitcase. But it's still, if it if it is really dure, maybe. And oof, I, I'm gonna stop talking here. Oh man, I I got I, I gotta really not stop to talking. It's already too much time. Anyway, well, looks like I, in the halfway the, the mission of this, of the last mission. So I don't know if the next will be the old will be the last episode. So I gonna if the case is the last episode, I don't episode so I'm gonna finish on this game so thank you guys so much for watching this amazing video I hope y'all enjoy this video if you do enjoy I would appreciate to you all to support me by giving me a like subscribe to my channel and of course put your comment down below your thoughts about this amazing episode of Splinter Cell and of course the Splinter Cell franchise and of course the your thoughts about the remake what you, they should make do in the remake. And remember folks, here we are winners. And stay tuned for the next episode of Splinter Cell. And I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Bye bye!